Welcome to the Real News Network. I'm Paul J. in Baltimore. According to the Census Bureau, 15% of Americans live in poverty. Our next guest thinks the number is higher, a lot higher, more like 50%. Now joining us from Chicago to discuss all this is Paul Buckheit. He's a teacher at DePaul University in Chicago. He's the founder and developer of the social justice website U.S. Against Greed. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Thank you, Paul. So, Paul, how, how do you arrive at this 50% number? Well, it, it's needless to say a controversial uh, figure. Half of America, or close to half, in poverty. Um, but the Census Bureau, their own figures, they, they're conservative, and they admit they have something called a supplemental poverty measure in which they uh, show that perhaps twice that many, perhaps 30 or 35 percent of Americans are uh, in or near poverty. And then I researched a lot of different uh, reputable sites. The Economic Policy Institute has some excellent figures about wealth. And if you study those figures, you'll see that almost half of America, 47% to use Mitt Romney's famous number, have zero wealth. Their, their debt outweighs their assets. So that's, that's wealth. But even going back to income, annual income, the... Um, the median income in America is, is 34,000. Uh, according to the Social Security Administration, it's less, it's 30,000. Now consider that means half the fam families in America are making 30 to 34,000 or less. And to be eligible for food assistance for, for SNAP, uh, you can make about that much, 130% over the official poverty level, which comes to about 30000 So it's, I believe it's fair to say that half of America is in or near poverty. And, of course, I, I want to qualify that with um, the uh, thought, which I received from a lot of readers, that, of course, poverty in the United States is, 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 is compared to the rest of the world, is... is, is is not poverty in their eyes, and sure, that's that's understandable and and and, and a sad situation. But just we're just talking about Americans here, and half of them are in uh, in a in a condition of um, uh, that's close to what we would the Census Bureau and Social Security and uh, and others would call poverty. And uh, in, in the article you wrote, you had some other examples how you get to this 50% number. Uh, well, yes. First of all, consider that take, take a family, even somebody in the upper half of America making $60,000, they're going to pay about 20% of that in taxes. Not so much federal taxes, but state tax, local tax, um, payroll tax, excise taxes. About about twelve thousand of that of their sixty will go for that, and then it's been shown by um, census and uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics and a few other sites that housing and and food and transportation will take up about another thirty thirty to forty thousand of of their income. That leaves very little, and when you consider that the um, the average family in America has somewhere between fifty and hundred thousand dollars of debt, then that pretty much removes or, or takes away their income. There, there's, there's very little left. So in the next part of our interview with Paul, I'm going to ask the question, given all of this, that half, perhaps as many as half of Americans are living in poverty, then why aren't half of the Americans screaming blue murder? Because People may be pissed, but they don't seem to be screaming. They don't seem to be organizing or doing all that much about it. Certainly some are, but nowhere near the numbers we're talking about. So please join us for part two of our interview with Paul Buckheit on The Real News Network.